Okay, yeah, so good evening, everyone. So uh, we'll just start. Um, hope the others will join us uh, later on the call. Okay, so good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, training for introduction to the Power Platform. Um, yes, yeah, so we had a session um, a few weeks ago. I know some of us were probably in the class and some of us were not, right? So this is going to be more of a recap of what we did the last time. So for the benefit of people who, are, who missed the first class, right? So, and from this, uh, we also proceed to, you know, doing some practicals and all afterwards. All right, so welcome. Um, I hope you can see my screen, by the way. Yes. OK, thanks. I, All right, I, so I'm raising my hand actually. Can oh, you, can sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I said I'd like to confirm if this can be recorded. Yes, it is being recorded actually. Okay. So please, I, I don't mind. I don't mind if it can record because I, I'm still in traffic, so I can just catch up and uh, whatever I get here and. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, it's being recorded. Thanks for that. All right. Yeah. So, um, a brief introduction about myself. As you can see, uh, I currently work as an IT infrastructure engineer at Sterling Bank, a Microsoft certified trainer, technology enthusiast, and also a lover of um, automation. Yeah. So, I work mostly with Power Platform, SharePoint, Microsoft 365. I'm also one of the leaders at the Power Platform um, user group in Nigeria. Right. So I love music and dancing as well. That's just a bit about me. All right. So, what are the things we are going to learn today? So, we have, uh, we're going to learn about what's Power Platform is, um, I know some of us might just be hearing Power Platform for the first time. So we'll talk about it. Um, so it actually contains about four different applications, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agents. We're also going to talk briefly on Microsoft 365, uh, talking about SharePoints, then automation, and also how to build a simple app with, you know, need to or no code, which is the interesting part of the whole thing, right? Uh, I'm also trying to make this as short as possible. I don't want to spend more than maybe an hour on this. Okay, so starting with why should I learn this, right? Okay, for a couple of reasons. Technology is the new big thing. Of course, as we all know, uh, automation is also the future of work. Preparing yourself for job opportunities, right? So this is another reason why you should also learn this, because of course the skills you learn from here also um, probably get you a job of five year looking for one and you can also create a new career for yourself so irrespective of what you know you do currently right so you might even be a tech person right now but you know what i believe what we are going to learn today you know, if you are interested you could you know create a new career for yourself right so um, I'll start with sharing this video. 
and I would want us to pay attention to it because I would also like to get um, our feedback immediately after watching the video so we can share what you understand from the video, what you learn from it and all of that. So let us all enjoy. Okay, I hope we all saw that video. Um, so I would like to get our feedback on what we think about the video. You've learned anything from the video, what you understand. Please feel free to unmute and give your feedback. And if you like, you could also drop it from the chat. So I'll be checking the chat as well. So you could drop from the chat or on mute and talk. So please, I like this to be interactive. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, from the video, we can see that. Um, the world of work and um, the progression at which things are swiving into technologies on a high side. And the world of work in the future is technology. The, the future of work is technology. Right. Okay, thanks so much. Any other person? Feel free to drop in the chat if you are the shy type like me. I don't want to talk. 
All right. Uh, so we don't waste much time. Or you can raise your hand as well if you want to talk. Or you just unmute. Okay. We have Steven. Please feel free. Sorry, we can't hear you if you are talking. Okay. I think I have two hands raised. Okay, one now. Uh, okay, if you are speaking, we can't hear you. That's TV now. Okay, yeah, so Toby is saying that, I see that in the next future, technology has taken over, which is very correct. All right, so from the video, we could see uh, a couple of things like technology is taking over, um, automation as well. You recall when I was introducing myself, I said I love automation. And that's just the fact because you know, automation is the future of work, right? You could see that uh, from the video, we, we saw a particular retail store that has zero employees, right? Which means, you know, all of this technology is coming in, automating people's uh, daily jobs, right? So which is one of the reasons we need to take, you know, technology things serious because, um, before you know it, a lot of people will be out of job in the next few years. Because of course, if we have something cheaper and that can do what the exact thing that a woman being would do, right? I could just buy a machine that would do that work. Just like um, cashiers in the bank. We have fewer cashiers these days, right? Because of course there is now ATM. ATM does exactly what you know a cashier would have done. If she was on seats, of course, what, what, will, what do you do with the cashier? You go there, you maybe uh, write a, your deposit slip or something, and you, you collect the money. But ATM is doing that already for us, right? So, a lot of other things that were in that video around um, how you know a lot of jobs are being automated. So, which is why you know automation is just the future of work, and that's just the uh, the little summary there. Okay. So uh, there's another video I want to share as well. Please. And I would also like to get our feedback regarding this as well. So let's enjoy. Okay, so that was another video. Um, I'd also like to get our thoughts on the video we just watched. What did you learn from it? What did you understand? 
this. I would like this to be very interactive. Just encourage me, please. So who wants to go first? Hello. I hope you are all here. I hope everyone can still hear me though. I'm speaking to myself. Okay, we have a boss that wants to speak. Please go ahead. Uh, okay, sorry, good evening everybody. All right. Okay, from this video, I was able to get the fact that, okay, the guy had no background in IT at all. Then, for me, discovering um, power apps was able to help the airport to solve their problem by by trying to digitalize most of their paperwork. So he made use of the power apps in order to build different apps for the airport. So coming down to us, it is actually an important um, phrase for us that even without like without knowing code or without having the background of programming or IT, you can actually make use of power app and it has a future. Probably in the next five to ten years now, everybody will be able to build their app from the corner of their room to employ a programmer to do that for them. I think I'm done. All right. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Okay. And I've said it all. Thank you so much. Any other person that wants to go? Okay, yeah, because of our time. I think she said it all. Okay, I have to be saying turn the paper work to be online through the Apple Powers. Thank you. That's very correct as well. So yes, you can see uh, this is someone, name is Samit, you know, he was just working as a security officer in the airport and, you know, he just discovered power hubs. Uh, uh, hey, 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 okay. So you probably just saw, um, had about power apps or something, saw something online around power apps and discovered to try, uh, you decided to try it out. And, you know, it was able to solve a lot of problems they were having, you know, regarding their processes, regarding papers. You could see that it's even saving them a lot of money because he said they saved, they saved like 11,000 sheets and, you know, a lot of man hours that they would have used on you know, manually imputing a lot of data, right? So, and that's him solving the problem. And like I mentioned earlier that you can create for yourself a new career, which is what we've seen Samit done, right? So he was a security officer and from there he became an IT uh, adoption specialist in the same organization because what he discovered how to use, you know, these tools and was able to create a new career for himself. So just in case maybe you are not even in the tech space currently, you don't know how to code or anything. So that's just to give you another assurance that, okay, you can actually do this. All right. All right. Um, so I think the last one I want us to watch, let me see this. Okay.
Okay, yeah, so I think that should be the last video for today. Um, I would also like to get our feedback on what we think about this particular video as well. If you've learned anything. Hello, I hope I'm still audible. Hello. How are we still here? The video, the audio was uh, muted on my own part. I only saw the visuals. I wasn't getting any reaction. Oh. I apologize about that. So it means you not be hearing all the videos I've been. Uh, okay, sorry. So let me just summarize because of our time. Okay, so um, that was Fui. Um, she's someone I even know personally, right? So um, she was just sharing her experience, her story of how she got into the power platform. You know, she uh, also discovered power apps and the rest and she was able to you know, transform the organization using power apps, building applications, you know, without any prior uh, knowledge of coding or development. So that was just the old summary of that. All right, so I'll just proceed. Okay, so uh, we've been talking about automation, automation. So what exactly is automation, right? So is a question of application of uh, an application of technologies to produce and deliver goods and services with minimal human intervention, right? I'm sure even from the videos we've seen, we should all be able to at least give our own definition of what automation is, right? We've seen how um, from the first video, we saw how um, there is a particular um device that you know does delivery to people so maybe you buy something and then it delivers it to you they deliver it to you through a drone right so that's automation because normally you know you probably wait for somebody to come deliver it to you but now we are using technology to even do you know sort deliveries and which is even much faster so according to what we saw in that video, he said the delivery is in like 30 minutes. Normally, if you would order something from and somebody, uh, a human being was going to deliver it to you, it's probably going to take much more time, right? So without minimal, uh, with minimal interven human intervention, you are using technology to, you know, uh, deliver goods and services to other users, right? So um, we also see how you know we can use these tools, the Power Platform tool, to you know automate a lot of other business processes as we move on. Okay, so uh, we've been talking about the Power Platform, Power Platform. So what exactly is it? So it's a collective term for four Microsoft products. So they are Power Apps, Power Automates. Power BI and Power Virtual Agents. So we'll break them down one after the other. So what is Power Apps? So it's a platform that allows you to develop custom business application with little or no code. And you can quickly build amazing user-friendly application that can be used on both mobile and uh, PC. Okay, so example includes uh, a leave request app, an access management app, etc. So uh, Power Apps is one of the Power Platform application. So it's used to develop custom business applications, you know, without you having to write uh, code or maybe very little code, right? And we can see some examples of apps built with Power Apps from here, right? So 
if you need to build an application that would you know, solve some certain business processes within your organization, perhaps might actually be what you need. So example, like I said, here is a leave request app. We know that you know in various organizations, a lot of people want to, you know, um, go on leave. And the custom way is when you are going on your leave, you probably need to fill a paper form and submit to your manager, maybe your manager signs to approve, then maybe it goes to HR and the likes, right? So rather than still using the custom way, because you know, of course, you know the world is going digital and the likes, you can uh, you can build an app that will do exactly the same thing. It's power apps, and this time you are saving uh, paper because you probably need to buy paper to fill and all of that. You are saving paper, you are saving time because um, if you need to approve a leave, uh, if your manager needs to approve your leave, for example, you probably, if it's not around, right? Let's say he traveled, maybe you need to wait for him to be back and all that. But with uh, our apps, when you build something that is digital, of course, you know, it's accessible anywhere. So even if your manager is probably out of the country, you can receive notification directly on his phone instantly and then approve from wherever he is and all of that, So which is another advantage. And the other part is that when you build an app with file and PC, so for some of us that might be familiar with you know, application development, you know that when you build an application for mobile, of course, it doesn't automatically work on your PC and vice versa, right? You probably need to build a different application. You need to get maybe a web developer to develop the one that works on the system or your PC on the web and get another mobile application developer that develops the one that works on mobile phones. But with our apps, you build just once and the application works seamlessly on both your mobile device and PC. Okay, so enough said about Power Apps. We'll see how uh, all of this in play as we go on. Okay, so Power Automate is another powerful tool. Because like name implies automate, it's used for automating uh, business processes, right? So just like Power Apps is used to develop um, applications, custom applications, you can also use Power Automate to you know, automate these processes. So. Still going back to the example of our leave request that I mentioned earlier, you could have, um, you know, when users submit a leave request, right? You need to now go to um, the somebody to approve, right? Like I mentioned, so maybe it goes to your manager. The manager now needs to approve. So this Power Automate will help you to automate that process to say, okay, when somebody submits, send an email to this particular person tell the person to approve. When this, this person approves, this is what should happen. Maybe the user should get notification that this request has been approved, or if it was rejected, gets a rejection made that this has been rejected, and all of that. So this that's what you know, Power Automate helps you to do. So it's also without, you know, little or with little or no code, right? Okay. So we also have Power BI, which is another tool under the Power Platform. And uh, what this does is, is to help you create, uh, connect data sources and create reports and dashboard and gain insights to your data, right? It provides a rich visualization, which gives you a 360 degree view of, you know, your data at a glance. And we can see an example from the screenshot that, that I have here. So what Power BI does now is, you know, it helps you connect to whatever data source that you have and displays it graphically for you, right? So for example, maybe you have uh, a database, it could be an Excel sheet or something where you are storing the data of you know, the sales you are making every day. So maybe we made 1 million naira today, put the information, the dates, we made uh, 500,000 naira today. You know, we are putting all of that information. So, if you have those information, you know, all of them stored in a particular data source, 
Power BI can then connect to that data source and display all of that information to you, you know, graphically, like we can see here. So if, for example, I need to see um, um, the details of all the sales that we've made, you know, in a year, Power BI can help me, you know, quickly see all of that information at a glance. Rather than me having to read the numbers, maybe on maybe an Excel sheet or something, Power BI just displays that information, you know, in a visually appealing way to me. And I can see, you know, the chart of how it's going up and down, up and down. So maybe I can see from there that, okay, in January, maybe the chart went up. So which means we made more sales in January. Maybe the sales went down in February. I can, you know, quickly see that. And from there, I can know that, okay, why was there a drop in our sales in this particular uh, month of the year, right? And we can know how to you know, adjust and make it better uh, at the end of the day. So which is what Power BI helps you to do. So the final one we have under the Power platform is the Power Virtual Agents. So this one helps you to create powerful chatbots you know, that engage with your customer or employees, you know, and it's also a no-code approach. So I'm sure we've all seen, maybe you went to a site and you've seen a particular uh, chatbot you know, popping up by maybe the bottom right of your system, and you, know, you can send a message, it responds to you, and you know, giving you maybe when you say hello, it says hi. How can we help you? you know, most of the time, uh, it's not an actual person that is chatting you up, right? It's just a programmed bot that is doing that based on how it has been developed and configured. So it might have been programmed in such a way that okay, when somebody says hello, this is the response you should give. When they say hi, this is what you should say, and all of that. How can we help you? uh these are our stores so you can use it to engage your customers right so that's what power virtual agents helps you to do now microsoft 365 so all of this power platform that we've been talking about are tools under uh microsoft 365 right so and it's a cloud-based solution with suits of apps and services which aims at business productivity so this is a uh, solution from microsoft um, basically, it is a paid uh, product, uh, but it's being used by uh, a lot of organizations. So if you are working in an organization that uses this, I believe there might be some of us who already works in some organization, you know, that, um, that uses this uh, tool, right? So what it does is it has a lot of, different applications like we can see word excel powerpoint one notes one drive so all of these applications they all have their different uh features and use so and it also includes the all the applications the power platform applications that we've talked about there are other applications to there like the custom one that we know that are like the word excel powerpoint and likes but the advantage of this is that it is a cloud-based solution, which means it is online. So you don't necessarily need to install all of these applications on your system. You can just use them directly on the web. So I can use my Microsoft Word on the web. I can use my Excel on the web, and I can quickly share with you know other people online. So if, especially in this era of web, most people are working remotely, or you are even working, somebody is in another state or another country, so you can quickly share, you know, information. Both of you can be working on the same Word document, you know, real time at the same time. So that's one of the advantage of having um, this. So SharePoint as well is also one of the uh, applications we have under uh, Microsoft 365. And we are also going to be using this uh, in the course of the session. So it is a web-based collaborative platform you know, that allows teams to share files, news, and resources, right? So what it helps you to do, just like the name implies, it's a SharePoint. So it allows people to just you know, collaborate and share resources and all of that. 
we'll see uh, uh, a demo of that as we also go on. So what are the benefits of the Power Platform? Uh, one of the benefits is it's easy to use, right? As we can see, like what we are seeing from you know, the various uh, videos that we have watched from experiences people have had, it's very easy to use. So even without having any um, knowledge of coding or anything before now, you can easily use um, the Power Platform. It also helps increase uh, productivity, right? So based on what we've also seen, we have a lot of people, you know, uh, we have a lot of organization. It helps them increase, you know, their productivity. We can see from the story of summits that we, we saw, he said they, they've saved, uh, I can't remember the number of hours, man hours now that they've saved from, of manual inputs, right? So with that, they can focus on more important things. Once there's a particular system that can help you automate something, so why still worry yourself trying to do it if something else can be doing? So all those hours that you would have used to maybe uh, do some manual tasks you can just leave it to the system. The system does it and use the hours to you know focus on one other uh, some other things which makes you more productive. Accessibility on web and mobile, like I mentioned, it's. Um, any app you build with the power platform can be used on both your web and, you know, and mobile phone. It also helps you save costs. We also saw from uh, going back to the summit's video, he said they were able to save like 10,000 sheets or thereabouts. So which means with that is saving them a lot of costs. You know how much they would have you know, purchased uh, such huge number of papers. It's a low code, no code platform, which means no prior coding knowledge is required. So even if you don't have any knowledge of coding before now, of course, you can easily adapt. It can also be easily integrated with both Microsoft and non Microsoft solutions. So which means uh, the power platform is not just limited to connecting to Microsoft products, even though it's um, uh, a Microsoft solution, it can still integrate with, you know, a lot of other solutions even outside of Microsoft. You can integrate it with your Twitter. You can integrate it with um, a lot of other solutions, even Google, your Gmail, and the like. So I can, I can build an automation such that maybe whenever I receive any email on my Gmail, I want it to move that uh, mail to another, maybe my Outlook or Hotmail or something, or I can even automate something that will post something on my Twitter at a particular point in time. So say, okay, I want to post something by 12 a.m. this night, and I know that, okay, I might be asleep by that time. So I can just schedule, build a power automate that would you know, post that thing for me at that particular time. So which, of course, we know Twitter is not a Microsoft product, which is what this is talking about. And lastly, it is secure. Of course, Microsoft security is also a very important feature when it comes to you know, building solutions. So Microsoft's uh, solution is you know, very, very secured. OK, so I think. Um, that should be it for now. Okay. So um, just because of our time, might not be able to go into the demo session today. Uh, in the next class, we'll be doing a brief demo of you know how to build a simple application using our power apps, power automates, and you know the rest. So thank you very much for listening and coming. So I don't know if there are any questions, contributions for now. Okay, please go ahead, sir. I don't know if you are unable to unmute or 
we can hear you. Wait. Yeah, you can drop your chat. Okay, okay, so you're talking about Microsoft being a paid application, yeah. Okay, thanks. Good question. So you're asking about Microsoft being a paid application and how you'll be able to access it if we need to practice. Good. Okay, so um, yes, it's a paid application, but uh, Microsoft also has um, a developer version, which means you can create a developer account, which is free, and you know use it for uh, development purposes. So when we are starting uh, the practical classes, we'll just set up a developer account, which we'll be able to use so that everybody can you know, have access and to all of this uh, platform that we've talked about. So that's a very good question. Thanks. All right, so I would guess that would be all for today. All right, thank you very much. So I think that will be all for today. Uh, we'll see in the next class. Thank you for coming.